All right, gang, we're continuing on with Construction Manager today. We're gonna to add in some the quotes and the invoices functionality. So let's jump in. All right, so just a quick overview of where we are. We've got our projects list here. We can add new project. We've got inside of the project view here. We can see the address, the client name. We just need to fix up. We've got our sub projects in here. Inside there, we've got our um, spaces inside the sub project. Inside the space, we can then have add upload inspiration. We can leave comments. We can add new finishes and colors. We can add new fixtures and fittings. So it's coming along real nice. But today what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into the, the main project and underneath here we're gonna have quotes and invoices. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to come up with some sort of models here. So I'm just gonna clean up this console. So the first model that I'm thinking is, so we can go Rails G model, and then we can have two models here. So for simplicity, we can have a quote and an invoice. I guess we can call it a project quote and a project invoice just to keep them scoped down or we can just call them quote and invoice. Let's have a look at the DB right now. Clients, comments, projects, statuses, suppliers. Yeah, I mean, we can let's, we could just go with quote and invoice. So firstly, let's go with the quote because that's the first thing that we're gonna um, need. So I'll pull that up. Now I'm gonna just grab some quotes that I've seen in the past. And so we can see what we need to include. Here's something that I found online. So we have a quote here from this company. And I think the key pieces of information that we wanna do here is who the company is that's quoting, the quote number or reference, the total amount, and then probably a description just so that you can kind of know the, what it was for, all right? So I think those are the key things there. And these are very similar to an invoice. So an invoice, again, it's the company, the reference, or the, the invoice number, the description. And I think what we wanna do here is also be able to cross-reference. So a quote can reference an invoice ID, or an invoice ID can reference a quote. So that you can say like, this invoice was for this quote, and you can tie them together in that, that way. Um, and then we also got the, um, the, the amount. All right, so those are the two things. They're very similar. They are actually very similar, but I like, um, what I think what we should do is we can jump into zero and just see how they model uh, the, the invoices and quotes. And I think if they keep them separate, I think we keep it the same way. Because if you ever wanted to implement something like pushing to zero in the future or pulling, you could do that. So let's have a look. So I'm just looking at the zero API. So zero is an accounting platform. And you can see here they've got models for invoices. And they also have models for quotes. So they've kept them separated. So I think that's a quite a good, probably a good practice for us to follow as well. And then that way we, we keep the two models apart. All right, so we'll, we'll follow that. So we've created our quote model. Now, based on the information we've just looked at, we can now jump in here and go create quotes. So the first thing is we are going to reference here. We're gonna, it's gonna belong to a project null, false, foreign, true, okay? So we're saying every quote that gets created belongs to a project. Now, I think that's pretty safe to do here. So in the, in the current form, we're always gonna have a, a, belong to a, a quote belong to a project. So we'll do that. Now, the next thing here is we're gonna have a t.string and we're gonna have a reference. We also want a t.string and this will be the quote quote number or yeah i mean quote number possibly and then t dot text here for description i i don't like this naming yet i don't think it's great um we're gonna go t dot belongs to user as well because i want to i want to track who put this who actually uploaded or created that um Quote, I want a T dot float here uh, for the total. Um, we need to look at the precision that we added last time. Um, this one. So it's a decimal, not a float. And then is this gonna do it? Yep, let's see if that works for us. I, I reckon we can use reference as the number. 
and then description. So let's just have a quick look here. What do we have? So I'm going to push this over here. We also need to know who the um, issuer is. So the reference number is here. The description is here. The total is here. Due date is important actually. So let's add a date time here. And then this is the due date, right? And then also I think what we can even do here and have is the issue date. All right, I think we can, these are opt, like I think due date, you can add them in if you want or not. We won't make them like required fields, but I think it's cool. Like if you wanted to use this thing for tracking, you could jump in here and just have a look at what actually due. We've got the total amount. That's good. We've got the description and we've got the reference. We've, it belongs to a project and it belongs to a user. And then what we actually want to also do, which we can do once we've created the model, is have the file. So you can actually upload the file itself. I think that'll be really cool. All right, let me see what if there's anything else. So just as I was flicking through here, I actually see quotes don't have a due date, they have an expiry date. So we'll set an expiry date here. I also want a Boolean here. So I want, I, um, I actually want like the ability to mark this as accepted. So let's go Boolean here and we're gonna go accepted. And maybe what we can do here is we can we can make this an accepted by user ID, right? And then we're going to say here t dot date time again, and we're going to say accepted at, All right? So that we can accept that, mark it as accepted, and then we can upload the file. Okay? So we're just going to change this boolean here to um, actually a big int for accepted by user ID, right? So when a user accepts this, we're gonna record who that was because a client can have multiple users. And then we're gonna say what time that was. There's the issue, there's the expiry, the total. And then we're gonna have two files. We're gonna have one, which is the original um, file and then two, which is the signed or accepted file. Okay, sweet. I think that looks pretty good uh, on the quotes area. So let's, let's run that one. Jumping back into our console, we're gonna go Rails DB migrate. All right, we created our table. Let's have a look. Quotes, there it is. Project, user ID, reference, description, total, issue date, expiry date, accepted by user date, accepted at, credit at, updated at. Perfect, all right. Let's run that same thing now. We're gonna do the same for invoice. All right, generate that model, generate some migration. I'm going to grab all of this, close this guy, close this guy, open up invoices here, just drop that in there. So now we're going to have, we don't need to have accepted at, but let's go paid by user ID, yeah? So this is when someone's going to mark this as paid, um, that's going to log who did that, okay? So now with invoices, we're gonna have two files. We're gonna have the invoice file and then we're gonna probably have the remittance, right? So we have those two things added onto here. But so we're gonna have a reference, a description, issue date, and then due date here. Belongs to a project and it belongs to a user. All right, so that's cool. And the cool thing here is because we are using the same model project for projects and sub projects, we can actually assign if we ever needed to, an invoice directly to a sub project, or we can do it to the entire project as a whole. So we're gonna focus on doing it on the entire project, but just for future, it is flexible enough to do that. Same thing here, let's jump in. Rails DB migrate, send that. Now I have forgotten what one thing here is we want to be able to reference an invoice to a quote. I believe, I think that's the right way. So. I'm gonna just jump and see if we can see any, give us some hints from the guys that have done it before in zero. Okay, so I can't see any reference there, but what I think, so I'm just gonna roll this back quickly. Rails DB roll back, just roll back the invoice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on the invoice model here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, it belongs to a quote and it can be true, it can be null. All right, so you can create an invoice without assigning it to a quote. I think this is the best way because when you create when you create an inv a quote originally, you're not going to have the invoice. But when you create an invoice, you would most likely have the quote. So let's reference it that way. 
and then an invoice and a quote can reference each other. So let's go here, Rails DB migrate, chuck that in. Okay. All right, let's set up the models. So we've created that. Let's go into here now. Let's go into quote. We'll set this one up first. I'm going to open up the migration as well for that. So we can see, so we belong to a project and belongs to a user. So inside the model, same thing, belongs to project, belongs to user. Yeah, that's the user who created it. Reference, description. So we do need at the bare minimum, I believe, we want the reference and the total at the bare minimum. All right, so let's go validates, reference, Yep, we also want the total. We also want, I reckon actually the issue, uh, no, we don't need this. We don't need this, not for quote, okay. Sweet, so those two things, cool, we need that. Now with the files, so let's jump into our project item and here we go, we've got our has one attached, all right? So we're gonna grab, go on the quote and we're gonna chuck that here and we're gonna say has one attached I guess what we can call this is quote has an attachment Not an attachment is the quote file. So this is the original file. And then this is the signed file. Original document. Let's go document. It has a quote doc has a document and this has a signed document. So a quote has one document and then it has one signed document. All right, so let's see how that works in Rails console. All right, so in here, we're gonna go Rails C. We're gonna go quote, let's go quote equals quote dot new, quote dot, and it's gonna be original file. Is that what I called it? Probably really a document, sorry. Original document or just document. dot file dot so it has a document there and then we're going to have signed document all right so we can either run with original file and signed file or signed document i might change that to original document of that and sign document. Okay, so quote has an original document and a signed document. Sick, it has a project, it has a user reference. All right, so that looks pretty good for quote. So let's jump on now into the invoice. So we'll close this guy, open up invoice here. Same concept, so we're gonna grab this. Now with an invoice, I want the original document and this is the remittance so if we go the remittance document yep so remittance letter remittance documents um all right so it has an original document and a remittance document it belongs to a project, it belongs to a user, it belongs to a quote, and this is optional. Okay? Because that one, we don't require that. You can create an invoice without a quote. It validates the reference, the total, and I also want the due date here. Right? I, I want the due date. Because I think that's important when you have an invoice. Um, okay. Sweet, I think that's pretty good here. Total, yep, 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 yep. Project user quote, project user quote, original document and then the remittance document. All right, so we've done that. We've got all this set up now. So now what we can do, let's jump into our view. So, or actually let, before we do that, let's, let's scaffold our controllers. So we're gonna go Rails G scaffold controller and we're going to do quote and then we're going to do invoice okay and then we're going to run bin dev 
All right, that starts up all our servers. Now we have created all the views and the controllers and everything's in here. So we've got our invoices and we've got our quotes. Now, what we wanna do is inside of config, we wanna just fix our routes because I think we're gonna have projects slash invoices and like this, and then we're gonna have quotes. Yeah, so it's still, it's nested inside of a project. It has to belong to a project, yeah? So we're gonna have resources And it's not actually there, it's not right. Let's do this straight to the invoices controller. And then here it's gonna go quotes controller, okay? Sweet, so we've got projects with a nested resource. Let's have a look at what that looks like. If we run Rails routes here, scroll up. We've got projects, quotes there. It's project slash project ID slash quotes. And then we're gonna have um, project slash project ID slash invoices, perfect, okay? Sweet, so now what we wanna do is we wanna create boxes here. So we're gonna, let's update the views. So to do that, let's jump into views, let's jump into projects, let's jump into master projects, that's where we're gonna start with this. And then so here's where we can see, we've got our table of projects. So it's basically this group here. We grab that, chuck that here. And this is gonna now be called quotes. It's gonna be just looping over the same thing. That's perfectly fine. And what we're gonna do here is just get rid of, so we're gonna do this, we're gonna go project, we need to update another model. So what I was gonna say is project.quotes, but the project has no idea that it has many of those. So let's jump in here, project. We're gonna say has many, has many invoices and has many Quotes, has man, has many, all right? So invoices, all right. So I actually need to just format this because that's what I like to do. I like to keep it all alpha, okay? These do have to come before here because it's going through. So we do need to make sure that these always if you're gonna go through something, you need to make sure it comes first. All right, refresh, make sure everything works. Okay, so now what we can do is we can go project.quotes. That's our first one. And then in here, we're gonna change everywhere it says subproject to quote. We don't have a title. So what we're gonna do here is the reference, because that's the quote ID. You know what we've forgotten? Forgotten we need to know who the issuer of the quote is. So we can use the supplier model here, um, similar to what we did inside of when we create a project. So we can just go supplier title, I think. Let's just see when we created a project item in the form, we've got a supplier, where are you? Supplier, supplier title, supplier title, yeah? So we can use a supplier title. So let's add supplier ID. So we're gonna add a belongs to. So we need to roll back our migrations. So this is Rails DB rollback. And then again, you're gonna do it twice. And let's add in supplier. I think we can use that model again. You could use in zero and stuff that use contact, but we could, we're just gonna use a supplier here. So we're gonna say belongs to a supplier and that it can be null. All right, for now, let's allow that to be null. Uh, you'll always have one. So let's just put that in there. So for quotes and invoices, okay. All right, now we can Rails DB migrate again, and now we just have to update our models. So let's go into our models invoice. So now it belongs to a supplier as well. So that's fine. And then here we're gonna, it belongs to 
not a project, a quote, belongs to a supplier as well. Okay, so we've added now project supplier. Cool, 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 cool. All right, these are little things you see as you're working through. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be quote.supplier.title, all right? Actually, this is quote reference, because the name would be the reference. We don't need space count here. So I think just for now, for simplicity, I'm just gonna show this. So here, whoops, we need to run our server. Run that. All right, there's quotes, right? Pretty boring, but it's got what we need. So let's grab this guy. And we could now, like if you wanted to split this off. So you could say we could create project partial would be project quotes. So let's just do that just because we can. So we're gonna go here, project quotes.html.erb. And then this way we just keep these little things self-contained. And we're kind of working similar to how we would in React world. Oh, mate, these spaces, indent using spaces always, I need to default that. There we go, so we got that now. Now we can just render a partial here. So it's project slash project quotes. Locals, we're gonna send in the project all right, like that. And then what we can do here is whether we reference project like that, we just do there. All right, let's see, nothing changes, love it. So now let's go copy and paste that guy. And this one's gonna be called project invoices. Right, and we're gonna change this to invoices here. It's very much the same, invoices invoice very much the same okay now we just have to pull that in to the master project project invoices Boom. there we go quotes invoices doing absolutely nothing right now so we need to add the ability to add a new quote and a new invoice Right, so we need to hit those routes. So let's see how we can style this line here to make it feel like you can add a new one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I think what it will grab is in the, in the header, let's grab this kind of button from here from like the project, project item. Let's see if we have that. So we've got, that's actually project item. And that's living inside of a category group, which renders a project item. We've got the title. And then on this side, we've got these guys here. So let's chuck that into projects quotes. We're gonna have edit. We're gonna, so we're gonna have create. And then we're gonna have new project quote path. And we're going to pass in the project dot project ID. Sorry, just project. We don't have a space, so all we need is this. Now let's jump back here. There's create. So we don't need a grid here. We're going to go flex, and then we're going to go justify. Between, is that it? Yep, there's it, there it is. There's our create button, but we need this to be a button. So we actually need to add a class here. So let's try and find a little black button somewhere. That's one, add a space. Create a comment. Right, so we probably want to fix this up so they don't collide there. Yeah, let's do that little black button. So let's go create comments. So that'll be in the comments form. And that will be here. Grab you, chuck you here. Let's go back. 
There it is, create. I reckon we can shrink this button a little bit though. Where we have our padding. Let's see if we can do something like this. PY almost nothing. It's got too much, it's got a height set. Okay, so we just need to remove this height here. It's got a fixed height. Let's make that six. That's probably too small. Let's see if it works like this. Yeah. So we can probably run with something like that if we're gonna use buttons in the header. So, and maybe even, maybe we should even write create quote here. That still works in mobile. Awesome, okay. So same thing, grab this, chuck it in here in the invoices. We're gonna go flex, justify between, create quote, no, create invoice. And this is create new project invoice path, okay? There we go, create quote, create invoice, all right? I reckon we could probably change these colors eventually. But for now, quotes new, there we go. Create invoice, beautiful. All right, so it's done there, move. Uh, what we wanna probably do here too is when there's nothing there. So if we go, if, here we go, if project dot invoices dot size equals zero. We're going to return something else. Otherwise, we're going to go else. All right, so then let's go if it's greater than zero. We're going to grab this whole guy. All right, chuck that in there. Otherwise, we're going to just basically say no quotes or no invoices, no invoices here. So it looks like that. You know what? I'm even happy with that. I'm happy with that. So only if we have some, do we render. Okay, so now it's just an if statement. Otherwise, we just have create invoice here. And I reckon I might even change this to add invoice because you're not creating them, you're just adding references to them. Sweet, all right, this is now add quote here. Same concept, grab this, chuck it around here. Okay, there, 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 chuck it there, add, add invoice, you know, easy. What we want to do here too, while we're here, is in the master project, let's add to that, let's add to this guy here and copy the same style with this, chuck that there, flex, Justify between. All right, chuck that there. We're gonna say add here. We're gonna go add project here. New project path. But this is gonna be a sub project, so we're gonna to have to fix that up because that's not gonna be perfect. Um, new project path. It actually needs to be new sub project path, realistically. Let's see if we've set up our routes there. Don't want to get too sidetracked right now. It's just how my brain works. Um, so let's go into routes, config routes. So we don't have a sub project at the ability to do a sub project right now. So let's just leave that. This will just create a new project. But that's not going to be correct because we do need to say, you know what we can do in here? Let's add a query param. So we're gonna say um, master project, I think it's a parent project ID, sorry, parent project ID. And this will be the project.id. Let's see if this works. Add project. That, I wonder if this needs to be in a query of this. Let's just see. No. Nah. Um, 
Uh, you know what? It's actually inside of here. Needs to go in a path. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Parent project ID one. Okay, so now when we do this, when we use this form, we can actually check um, here and then we can grab the, the um, parent project ID. I mean, let's just do it. Parent project ID, and this is gonna be equal to params parent project ID. Let's see what happens if we click this. This needs to be fixed up. We now have a look in here. Where's the hidden? Where are you, mate? In the form. It's in here. Parent project ID is one. Okay. Then what we also need to do is if this is present. So we can just say dot present. So it is a master project if this is not present. Okay. So, I mean, let's see if this is, if we can just say, em, use the word empty here. So that is working. Now this should say here is master project should be false. All right, so let's have a look. Master project false. Project is master false. Okay, now if we go here, empty. So because it's nil, this is why I actually like to do the negated present. Because I find that it works for nils as well. So if we change this to present, so not present, there. All right. So now this, this when we look at this one, open this up. Master is true. Parent project ID, nothing. Okay. So that's what we got. Now we're using the same form to create sub projects or projects. Cool. A little bit of a detour, but I think it's all adding towards creating this finished product. So into the project, excellent. Now we have these two guys. So we wanna create the form. So what we're gonna mimic is inside of this one, we wanna mimic this little form down here. This one, all right, we wanna build this out. So let's try and uh, set up this for our, we'll start with quotes, okay? Let's jump into that. Okay, so inside of uh, the views, we're gonna go into quotes, we're gonna grab the form here, okay? So that's the form we're working on. And then inside of project items, we've got our form as well. So this is the one we're gonna copy. All right, so let's grab, uh, where are you? Where is, so we're using the form. So it's gonna be inside the new here. All right, so we need to grab the same thing inside of the new quotes. So we're gonna grab all of this from project items. We're gonna move it into here. Okay, and we're gonna say new quote. Or I'm gonna call it add quote. We're gonna render a form, and this will be quotes slash form. And what locals are we sending in? Suppliers, yes. And this will be quote, will be the new quote. Categories we don't have. So we're gonna send those in, all right. We do need a back button eventually, but now if we go into back to kitchen, let's jump back to here, we're gonna add a quote, there we go. That's looking nice. All right, so we've set that up. We also wanna do the same thing with edit. Right, so it's the same concept. So with new, we can copy that, chuck it into the edit screen. We're gonna go edit quote. And that looks exactly the same. So we've just set those two views up, that's easy. All right, so in here now, let's wrap our um, quote here. This form, we're gonna, need, we're gonna actually need the same controller kind of style eventually, but let's just skip that for now. We're gonna chuck that there. All right, we've got our errors. Then here's our first thing. So let's go with our, our first one. We're gonna go, and this is going to be, 
I just want to see where our divs are. So that's our submit. That's the end one. So we'll just add this block straight here. And this is going to be reference. So let's just see what that looks like. There's reference. Okay. So the supplier is actually one of the key ones here. So the supplier is going to be here. So we could add the supplier block here. Let's just see, it's gonna, there it is. So that's the supplier and that's the quote from the supplier. And then what we need to do is add that other functionality. So we need that same con controller. So let's jump in here in JavaScript controllers. We need to run the stimulus command, but let's, let's add that later because let's just do these, the rest of the fields here first. Supplier reference, let's just have a look at what else we have in our quote. So quotes. Project ID, we already know. User ID, we will know. Reference, description, and total. So let's go reference, description, total, description here. This is going to be a text area for description. And then this is going to be total. And this will be a number field, total. Description total. Uh, what else do we need? We need uh, reference description total, issue date, and expiry date. So we'll create a two column one here. So let's find one of those there. So we're going to have here, we're going to have issue date and then expiry date. And this is going to be a date field. I hope that's it. Let's see. There we go. Love it. Okay. And then, so we've got issue date, expiry date. Don't need the accepted because that'll be a button probably outside total. Now what we want to do here is add the actual file field. So if we go down here, we can look at our image. So we, it's not called image though. This will be under this one. And this will be the original file or document. So this will be original document. Let's see what that looks like. There's the original document. And what we could do here, let's see if we can split this in half. Yep. And then what I'll do here is I'll, I'll conditionally render this one. And this is actually the accepted document. I mean, let's call it signed document. So what we'll do here is we'll say if quote dot ID. But there's, a, there's also, there's a uh, Rails helper here. We can say if quote dot, um, so there's new record, but there's also persisted. I don't know what the, I don't, right now I don't know what the opposite of that is, but let's find out. Okay, so it's persisted. That's the word that I'm looking for. So if quote is persisted, which means it's saved, then we will allow you to upload the sign. You know what? I'm even thinking if you're adding a quote after the fact and you've got both, let's just let you do both. Let's just, let's just let it happen. All right. So here we're going to go. This is our little secret hidden block. So we don't need that. So this is quote dot project ID or project ID in the params. This will be back to project so this will be the quote dot project title or the project path of the quote dot project item. We don't need the space ID here. Let's see if this works. Uh, no, project path, missing keys ID. So quote dot project ID. So we need to initialize in the controller now just to pass that in. 
So new quote will be quote dot project ID equals params project ID. There we go. And now we have our back button here. This does look a little bit strange. Let me just see what that looks like normally for us. Main dwelling, kitchen. Um, let's go down here. Okay, so that looks a bit better because there's a white space above it. So what we probably want to do with like a footer like this is add here, maybe go PT8 and we're going to go border top. Is it border top? Border T. Something like that, yeah? Um, PT4. Uh, so there we go. So now we have back to the projects or the project. So we can go Arcadia and then we can go add quote. Here's the quote. Now I don't want to do that or add a quote and then create the quote here. Um, and we can rename that to add quote. Where are you champion? Oh, that's just because that's using a default word. That's, we'll just leave that for now. Okay, so what do we need to allow through here now? We have to do our permitted params. So we're going to go dot permit. Project ID for sure. Um, we want to do reference. We want to do description. We want an expiry date. We, we want a... We need the total. Not status. Issue date. We need the file. So let's have a look at the file. Let's make sure we do the file right. That just says image. So this would be original document and also the signed document. All right. Um, expiry date, issue date. Let me just sort these. Project ID, user ID will set on the controller, reference, description, total, issue date, expiry date. And these two, we can, we'll create a route called quote.accept. So we don't need those right now. Hit that. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Uh, we need to add our little stimulus controller. Let's have a look here. So we've got our controllers. We've got JavaScript controllers, project items, form controller. So we're going to do something here. So we're going to go Rails G stimulus. And then we're going to say quotes slash form, right? So that's the quotes form. Okay. Bin dev. Let's see what it's done. It's added that into it. Quotes form for us. It's created this and it's called a form controller. We can copy what we got from project items and just drop that in there. Let's just make sure we copy this line because that makes it easy to know what to use. Okay. Supply input. There we go. That's all we want there. Okay. Very simple. It's, it's similar to what we did before. We need to now add into our form view that we are referencing this controller here. Okay. So we grab that and then inside of our quotes, let's close all this off. This one. We're going to chuck that there. I think we stuck it behind the class now. There. And this will be quotes form. Yeah. And this we change all this to quotes. And let's give that a spin. If we change this to other, there we go. Our little text box appears. So we do we need to let that through? Probably not. We just need to go into our project items controller where we do create and then do this piece here. So this is going to be repetitive for both uh, quote and invoice. But so we're going to say if supply title is equal to quote supply title and supply title is present, we're going to set the quote supplier to supply to find by or find or create by supply title. Okay. Otherwise, we're going to be using the supplier ID. Let's just check we, will let, we haven't let that through here. So we need to let supplier ID through here. 
Okay. Okay, let us see how have we nailed this. Okay, let's go. So using the quote from before, we're going to go SDS engineering. Reference would be uh, stormwater drainage design. And actually, this is there. The reference would be, uh, they don't have, oh, there we go. Quote 3304, that's the reference, the description. The total is 1760. The issue date is the 14th of October. So let's go. Expiry date would be the 13th of December. There you are. And then the original document. So we're not going to do that right now. We're just going to create it. Please work. User must exist. Okay, that's fair enough. So what we need to do here is when we create a quote, what we're going to say is quote dot user is equal to current user. Okay, that's the user who created it. Let's try again. There we go. Quote was successfully created. So we don't want to redirect here. We want to actually now go back. So once we create, we don't redirect to quote URL. We're going to go to project URL. And this will be quote dot project ID. All right. So anyway, let's just see. So next time we create one. So now we have our quote. There it is. Title quote 3304. I reckon we chuck the description field in here and also the total. So let's go fix up that view. Okay, so inside of projects, master project, we've got our project quotes, remember? Um, and now what we want to do is open up this table. So we're going to have title. Uh, that doesn't have... So let's add title, let's have description. I mean, we also need the supplier realistically. So supplier, it's not title, it's reference. Let's just have, uh, I mean, maybe we need the description here as well. We can truncate that. And then we also need total. I reckon let's go total here. Let's get rid of these. Supplier reference. Okay, so that's not rendering because it's missing some tables here. So we go bang, bang, bang. So this is going to be the quote supplier dot title. I'm just doing that to be safe there. We don't, let's not do a link here. We're going to just do quote reference. Now I'm torn about which one's which. I think reference still comes first. Let's swap these around. Right, and then put a width on there. So the ID of the thing is the, what we want to click on. So that's, and then that's who's giving it to us. That's the description there. So now we can say description. We don't want links on all these things. So let's get rid of that. Ding, ding, don't need you. Stormwater drainage design. All right, we don't need bold here. These font mediums. There we go. So we've got a quote reference, we've got the supplier, we've got the thing, and then we've got the total. So let's just go here. Now there is a currency helper, I believe. There's the total, let's grab that. All right, so that's just number two currency. So chuck that there, around there. Let's see if that works. There we go, 1,760 bucks. Stormwater drainage design. SDS engineering. Now this needs to be, why are you wrong? This needs to be a link, link to quote reference. So we need to fix that because that needs to be projects. I mean, I guess we could do just quotes. 
right? So that'll just show us that whole coin. I almost think we can take it straight to the edit screen there. Like that, yeah? So let's go link to edit quote path. Sorry, that's the first thing is that we need to say edit quote path. Let's see if that works. So if we now click on this, there we go. All right, so now we can look at that. All right, perfect. There's our quote. So we can now add quotes uh, and we can also edit them. Let's just change that. This needs to redirect as well properly. That's not. So if we go into quotes controller, um, so update goes to quote URL. We want to go to project URL. All right. Let's go back here, refresh, change that. All right, stormwater drainage design, designs. There we go. Sweet. Okay, we probably want to write here that it's been, ex we, eventually I think we're going to put a little, this is like polish, we'll put like a little accepted column here as well. Let's see, what does this look like when it's small? Yeah, okay. That's all right. Cool, all right, let's move on to invoices. All right, so with invoices, same concept here. Add invoice, projects one, invoices new. All right, so here's the new, we need to go into invoices new, close off this guy, invoices new. We need to copy what we've done here with this. All right, we go add invoice. And this is invoices form, invoice, Supplier, yep, same concept. Grab this for our edit as well. This is edit invoice. All right, so we've done that. Done the new. There we go. Now we're gonna look at the form. So I'm gonna move that there. And then we're gonna just, I'm just gonna grab all of this. And wherever it says quote, Let's just change that all to invoice. Project path. Okay, so we need to set up our controller so that when we initialize, we set the invoice.project ID equals params project ID. And while we're here, let's set our permit. Project ID, yes. I'm going to grab from quotes because it's very much the same. Grab you. There's a few differences. So expiry date is due date. Issue date, original document. And this is called the remittance document. Supply ID total, project description. Okay. So we got that. Let's fix these two up. So we're going to go to the project URL. And it's going to be invoice.project ID here as well. Okay. Uh, we need to set the current user when we create as well. We also need to, from the quotes controller, do the supply title business. We probably need to do the same thing with update. Realistically. Because that's also possible that you change supplier title here. So we'll just do that there. So in here, we're going to go this and this will be the invoice and the invoice and then update the same thing. Okay, so that's all set up. And this should now work. So we've got our supplier, there we go, reference, description. So I'm gonna just, in the form where I write reference, I'm gonna go slash invoice. I'm go invoice number slash reference, yeah? I 
might just do that there. It might, it's a little bit simpler just to understand. I still like calling it reference in the DB, but just for the user here, I'm going to call this quote number. It might be easier. Let's do the same here. Invoice number slash reference. Okay. Description total. What else do we have? Invoices. You're not showing up yet. Let's refresh. Invoices, reference, description, total, issue date. That's due date. We need to change that. All right. Let me just fix that up. So issue date and then due date. This is the original document and this is the remittance document. All right. Cool, let's add one. Let's see if it works. Here's an invoice. 7172. And this is the description is stormwater drainage design. We also need to add the quote here. So this is 1760. So I won't go through here because it's gonna wipe everything. Uh, let's let's add to this. Under here, let's go. We don't need this text field, but what we want here is quote. All right, so if you want to, you can add here, you can say quote ID. So we need to add that as a permitted param in here, too. So when we send it up, we can assign it. Um, and this is going to be, so when we use this form, we want to pass in to wherever we use it. So it'll be edit. We want to actually only send quotes for this project. So we're going to say, this will be quote dot where project ID is equal to project ID. All right, we need to also do that in the new form. Okay, so wherever we use this, we're gonna put it in. So in edit screen, we're gonna put quotes, quote where project ID is project.id, all right? So that's for quotes. And then also in the new screen, all right? And then in here, we're gonna now loop quote, quote ID, and this will be quotes.map, quote title, quote ID. And this won't be quote title, it'll be quote reference. Uh, we don't need this data action because we're not doing anything special with that. You can only select a quote, so let's just see what that looks like. All right, that's not right there. So we need to set that to params project ID because we don't have project at the moment. We can't get it off invoice either. Doesn't have a title, that's a stitch up there. So reference, that's what we're gonna do. All right, there you go, you can assign a quote now. Okay, SDS, it's for the quote 334, and then this is invoice, right? And then this is stormwater drainage. And what you could do to be, you know, as you, if this, you build this app out, you can say when you set this description, you, if you set the quote, we just pull in the description from the quote, bang. Because it'll match that. This issue date is the 28th of November. What are you doing here? Uh, no. Wow. There, it's not a pass, but I don't know why that's trying to remember it. Due date is the 5th of December. All right, create, have we forgotten anything? Nah, there it is, invoice. All right, so let's fix up this table now. So close, close, close. So that's inside of the 
projects invoices. Let me grab the project quotes. Let me grab the same thing. Chuck that there. Now let's see. Supplier description total. Now in here, we're going to do this. Same thing. Change out the word quote. Invoice, boom, boom, boom. All right, there we go. That's it. So we can now add quotes, add invoices, do add the references, you can edit them, look at them, do all the things and away you go. So that's pretty cool. That's the basic functionality now. So now we're storing the quotes, we're storing the invoices. The other thing that I think we can add as well is documents. I think we can add project documents or any kind of files that come in. We probably want to stick them all in here. So we could probably have a documents thing. So this is, that'll be exactly the same flow. So I won't record a video on that one, but that I'll replicate this. It'll be, you'll have a project document. You'll have a title of the document. This will even be simpler title of the document and then probably just a download button. And then you can store all your documents against the project as well. So these could be plans or any um, like things that get sent across. All right. So then the, the, I think the next piece of this is to finish this project. I think there's nothing else that I really want to add. The rest of it's just polish. So in the final video, I'll just go through this project and start polishing up all the little pieces like this, make sure we show the client name, showing who's logged in, the ability to add clients and, and look at users. And that'll be it. That'll be a full working project from start to finish. All right, catch you on the next one.